Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 23rd. So, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up. Well, what do we have for around the 23rd? For around the 23rd. Sun card. So the sun card is unhappiness. It's sadness. It's it's poor logic. It's somebody that is uh, false impressions, perhaps uh, doing the opposite of what they say. There could be some sort of depression here. Somebody's really not happy about a situation. Um, lack of growth. Lack of fertility. Um, Somebody's not being honest with themselves. They may be in some sort of darkness. Now, the Knight of Wands is, an, is a risk taker. This is somebody who takes risks, takes action, sometimes acts without thinking. But I feel like it's... I feel like it could be in the past. Somebody's impulsive actions may have caused a, you know, unhappy situation to unfold. Hermit reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. Eight of Cups. Oh, we'll take these. So we have somebody here that is has become enlightened by the looks of things, but they're not happy about something. It's like they've, they've, you know, this is becoming enlightened, or they, or maybe they need to become enlightened. Somebody who's facing some life challenges with all the strength they can muster, right? Somebody has done some sort of something impulsive, where they've made some this is this could be reckless behavior. Done something without thinking. So somebody's done something without thinking. Now they're facing some challenges. They may need to go within. They may need to isolate. I mean, you get the hermit re reverse. There's there's some sort of sadness for sure right next to the sun card. Feeling very alone. Pretending to be happy. And this is pretending to be happy as well. So on the outside, we have somebody here that looks happy. But in reality, they're not happy. Because the, the sun card reverse is unrealistic. So unrealistic so somebody may pretend that they're happy but they're not happy we have a lack of emotional growth here we have dis a disappointing situation where somebody's been facing a lot of challenges a lot of challenges and they're about ready to give up by the looks of things because you know i feel like this is very overwhelming um two of swords reversed three of wands and six of cups so Two of Swords Reverse is exposure, something being exposed, coming out of denial, seeing the truth, action being taken where truth is being revealed. So some sort of truth is being revealed. I feel like somebody has been in the darkness, but they're coming out of the darkness, right? Because I feel like with that Three of Wands, that is, it looks like something is happening. It's like get prepared for an arrival. Somebody could be coming, okay, with that Eight of Cups reverse right next to the Three of Wands. That could be an arrival. Um, you may have been waiting for an arrival. Or you may be, you know, it just shows up. So, yeah, there definitely could be an arrival here. It could be somebody from the past. With the Six of Cups or somebody from your childhood or somebody that you grew up with or it could be a child. So there is probably going to be some sort of arrival. Now the Two of Swords reversed is seeing something very clearly opening up. You know, somebody's been wearing a mask. They've been wearing a blindfold. They haven't been able to see something. They've been... Uh, I think we have somebody here that's been in a deep depression or something, or in deep denial. They've been, been in some sort of deep denial, but they are becoming coming enlightened. And I do feel like there is, an, there is an arrival, or there's a departure. Three of Wands can be an arrival, or it can be a departure, and, and praying and hoping for the best. You know, somebody may be seeing the truth about, you know, a departure or an arrival. 
Um, they're definitely thinking a lot about it because of the Eight of Cups that's thinking about a departure. So somebody's definitely thinking about a departure. And, and they may be thinking about their next move, you know, what, what are they going to do now? And I think there's a lot of sadness over this, over this departure. Um, you know, the Nine of Wands in reverse is somebody who genuinely, genuinely, genuinely uh, refuses to compromise. This is somebody who has a chip on their shoulder, you know, that keeps repeating the same negative patterns over and over and over again. This is somebody that is very disagreeable and has a lot of pride. So we have somebody here that is very, very prideful, you know, that doesn't like to lose. And this person is feeling a loss of power, you know, and I feel like... They're struggling. I think that they're struggling with uh, letting go of something. And they're really thinking a lot. Thinking, thinking, thinking about this. Uh, it feels like somebody's leaving with the Eight of Cups next to the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a departure or an arrival. Um, and I think, that, I think there's been some sort of disillusionment. And there's poor health. We may have somebody here that's not very healthy. You know, they're, they're not very healthy. And... You know, they're thinking about what actions to take, but I feel like they're they're blocked in some way because I feel like uh, there's poor health. I think their poor health or their poor decisions are blocking them from uh, happiness or growth or fertility. You know, there's no fertility here. There's no growth. It's no life. I mean, the sun the sun reverse is is not it's not a good life. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's, it's time to take action. Somebody's taking action to leave. I mean, the Three of Wands is leaving behind the past. So somebody is leaving behind the past. And I feel like whoever they are leaving behind is really thinking about their departure. You know what I mean? Somebody is definitely leaving behind the past because, you know, it's time to focus on the future. And it may require you to let go of your pride because of this Nine of Wands reverse. That's extreme pride. Somebody may have to let go of their pride. Uh, now, the Eight of Cups reversed is superficial, shallow, um, avoiding. And the Two of Swords reversed is, is uh, somebody has been avoiding, but they can't avoid anymore. You know, you can't avoid, you know, the truth. You can't, you can't avoid this, the, the, that it's time to, uh, focus on the future. You can't avoid it anymore. You know, um, <laughs> somebody is going to be seeing the truth. They are going to be seeing the truth about a, sip, a situation. They are. It's definitely time to focus on the future, not the past. Put the past, the past, put the past behind you. Stop repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. That's how karma is earned. There's, it's going to be, a, there's a lot of memories here. There's a lot of nostalgia. So there's a lot of thinking going on. Somebody is really doing a lot, of, a lot of thinking. Okay, a lot of thinking going on. And they're disappointed. They're very disappointed, you know. Um, magician. So the magician is as above, so below. This is uh, somebody that uh, creates. This is a creator that is taking action. This is this is a creator that has a divine connection. You know, this is the divine connection to source. Somebody is. We have a very powerful individual here, who has all the resources to succeed. So we do have somebody here that is very resourceful, very skilled, very competent, very knowledgeable, uh, very connected. So we have somebody here that is willing to do whatever it takes to be successful. So we have a very successful individual right here that is taking action. This is somebody, it could be Gemini, we could be dealing with Gemini, we could be dealing with the Virgo, we could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. 
Um, the magician is willing to do whatever it takes. Very, very aware. So we have somebody here that is very aware of what they need to do to bring success. This is somebody that is in charge. That is that that is a manifester. So we have somebody here that has manifested something. <clears throat> What is this magician doing? Letting go of something. We have somebody here that is letting go. I need a drink. I don't have one. <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat is scratchy. Um, well, yeah, we have somebody here that is letting go. Could be dealing with a Pisces. We have somebody that, that is definitely struggling very much struggling there's they have been struggling to let go and they are obsessed with control and they haven't been learning their lesson but i feel like we have somebody here that is trying to change they're trying to change very prideful energy so yeah we have somebody here that is very prideful very smug uh very you know uh This is somebody that is unwilling to budge, that usually is unwilling to budge. And maybe this person is still unwilling to budge. You know, the hangman in, in reverse with the nine of wands reverse. This is somebody that uh, has a chip on their shoulder. This is somebody that has a chip on their shoulder that is doesn't learn very well. This person doesn't learn their lessons. They don't because they want to prove a point. It's about power and control. It is about power. So we have somebody here who wants power and control and they may not be seeing something clearly. They're not seeing something clearly. We got somebody here that's not seeing something clearly because they want power and control. But I think that they're thinking about their past. You know, they're thinking they go they have a lot of memories, you know. And, 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 you know, your thoughts become things. Your thoughts become things. And I said we have a manifester here. We have somebody who's doing a lot of thinking. Thinking, 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 thinking. And they're thinking about their past a lot. And, you know, your thoughts become things. And the ma magician is about that. So, you know, somebody's manifesting something. Anyhow, um, thinking about a departure, thinking about leaving, or thinking about going back. Somebody may be thinking about leaving. They could be thinking about going back because of that Eight of Cups. Could go either way. Right now, they're struggling. They are very much struggling. Struggling with their thoughts, you know feeling very, very alone, feeling very indecisive. So yeah, we have somebody here that is torn. They're torn on what to do. But I think the answer that they are seeking is going to come to them. The answer that they are seeking is going to come to them because the universe is hearing as above, so below, is hearing those thoughts. So whatever somebody is thinking, the answer is going to come. Yes. Now, yes, you must struggle through this. A new perspective is needed. Coming up with a new perspective by the end of the day. I think it starts out very, it looks like it's gloomy. Okay, it looks like it's gloomy. I feel like we have somebody here that um, 
has done something foolish in the past, they've done something foolish, they've done something reckless. Now they're feeling very alone. They may be going through a midlife crisis or something. Thinking about their past a lot. A lot of memories here. Trying to hold on as well or trying to let go. There's, it could go either way. We definitely have somebody here that doesn't learn lessons. They, they just keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. And it's because of power. It's because of power and control. Because they can't let go of their ego. You know, that they have it, they're extremely prideful. You know, they keep on uh, having emotional disappointment in their lives. And they keep have to pretend that they're happy. It's all big and fake, okay? This is false impressions. This is pretending to be happy. It's all fake. They're pretending they're happy, but they're not. By the end of the day, a new perspective is going to be gained because somebody's going to receive an answer. They're going to receive an answer from source, you know, or, yeah. Four of Swords. Now, this is uh, tired, exhausted. Need to go within and listen. The message will come. If you can get some time alone, you will get the answer that you are seeking as to what you need to do. But you will need to take some time alone. Take some time alone to think about whatever this situation is and let the answer come to you. And the answer will come to you. But you have to be alone. You can't be taking the answer from nobody else. This answer will come from source or come from within. Okay, if you sit alone and you meditate per se, and you don't have to sit in any special position, you sit alone and you just breathe, okay? And you let the answer come to you. The answer will come and it will tell you what you need to do. Do not listen to any other person other than source. Three of Swords, of course. The Three of Swords is suffering. We have somebody here that is grieving. They are suffering. They are in pain. They feel as though they yeah, they're heartbroken. We have somebody here that is heartbroken. They have they are experiencing some sort of pain. Could be over you know somebody from their past. Could be over um, a lot of memories that they're they're reminiscing about. Somebody is definitely reminiscing on this day. They're in they're in a lot of pain. But they are going to be gaining a new perspective. And the magician is about willing to shed the old to bring in the new. So we do have somebody here that is willing to do whatever it takes to... Uh, they are going to. I don't think it's happening right yet. I think it's going to happen throughout the day. I think it starts out as, as sad and gloomy. And, you know, it moves into think, 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 think. And you know, overwhelming. It's, this is overwhelming. It's, it's overwhelming, whatever it is. But I do feel like we have somebody that is probably, there's probably some communication that is going to be coming with that magician card. This is communication. Um, I think we have somebody that's going to get the answer and they're going to communicate, uh, uh, probably their feelings with the six of cups. I think they're going to communicate their feelings. Um, hmm. Now on the bottom we have the world card, which is a major completion of a cycle. This is traveling, it's moving. It's, it is, I mean, it's, it's a completion of a cycle. It's a long-term project, a long-term phase that has come to an end. This is freedom. It's learning a lesson. So we do have somebody here that is going to be leaving something behind. They are. They're going to be focusing on the future. They are going to be saying goodbye. Some sort of lesson has caused somebody's evolution. I think there could be a change of residence here. 
So yeah, this is the end of a journey. It's the end of a chapter. Somebody has learned a lesson, but they have repeated it over and over and over and over again. They, they may not, they may or may not learn the lesson. This is a test. This is a test. Take a minute to go within. Not a minute. I would say 30 minutes. 30 minutes to just sit in silence. Don't try to make the answer come to you. Just sit in silence and breathe. Focus on your breathing. That's all you have to do to meditate. That's it. You don't need to do any special thing. You don't let to listen to any special meditation music. You just sit and you're, you're just listening to your breathing and you close your eyes and you're listening to your breathing and the answer will come to you as to what action you need to take. Good luck.